Welcome to Talking Trash, and today we're out at the Becker County Household Hazardous Waste Facility, and as you can see, we have some paint going on here. We are going, going to have a shipment actually next week, so we're, we're just about ready to go here, and I just kind of wanted to explain a little bit about what we have here, and then how we have to package it, and why it's so important for you to take care of your products. If you're going to use them, put them in, in your garage, if it's heated, or in your basement, if your garage isn't heated, put your products in where you can use them again or so they don't freeze. We really don't want them to freeze. So I just w can't stress that enough. Please, please, please bring them in from the cold. All right. So what I have behind me are actually behind me and to the right of me, I have 52 barrels of latex paint. Now that's all the paint that we've collected in 2012. That's a lot of paint. I just want to give you some indication of how much paint that is. Latex paint, 52 barrels, and they, they approximately weigh each about 500 uh, pounds per barrel. So that's 28,600 pounds or 14.3 tons of latex paint. So that's all paint that's been frozen, that's no good. And so we have to ship it away properly and this is how we properly do it. We, we crush all the paint cans. If they're no good, they're not usable. If they're usable, we put them out on the shelves. If they're not usable, we do this to them. We put them in 55 gallon barrels and so what happens to this is these all get shipped off and sent down to Amazon. It's a company called Amazon. And they recycle the paint down in Minneapolis. They actually mix it with concrete as a concrete filler. People always ask, what happens to all this stuff? Latex paint is made into a concrete filler. Then in front of me here, I have barrels. I have 22 barrels of oil-based paint. And what's kind of interesting is this, is this paint. People say, what are these little hosey things on top, of the, uh, and on top of the paint? That is grounding wires. We have to ground all these paints because they're oil-based paint, which is flammable. So you have to ground those so that if there's any sparks, which there isn't here, but just in case, we have to ground them. This oil-based paint gets all reused as a, in a fuel blend. They actually burn this as a fuel. So this is actually a fairly small amount for us this year. We actually had almost, well, more than double of latex and oil-based paint that came in. The oil-based paint, if you have it in your garage, that actually will not freeze. So if you have an oil-based paint, you can leave that out in the garage, that won't freeze. Because a latex paint is water-based, that freezes. Then we have 10 barrels of solvents, and that's also used as a fuel blend. So if you have any thinners or that kind of thing, that's, we bulk that up. That's what this is called, it's bulking it in 55-gallon uh, in barrels. And so this all gets shipped away, all gets recycled. Isn't that great? Then we have uh, fire extinguishers that we take, and those actually get recycled. Uh, we have someone that takes all the, the product out of there, out of the container, and then recycles the metal. These are different types of, uh, we call them lab packs, different types of chemicals, if inorganic acids, acids, bases, and we have to separately package them and ship those away. And these actually get incinerated. And then I'm going to walk over here and we have 24 barrels of pesticides, liquids and solids, and those actually get incinerated, these barrels in back here. These do not get recycled, they get incinerated. And then I have a pallet here of driveway sealer, and that actually uh, will get recycled too. It's water-based driveway sealer, and so we ship them off this way. It's, it's hard to get into them, so we ship them off. Then another thing that we have, if you have adhesives, any kinds of adhesives, glues, fillers, things like that, we recycle all that too. It actually, it does, it, we take it and it actually gets incinerated. It gets sent to an um, incinerator of uh, Illinois and it all gets uh, incinerated and burned, I guess. So, and this is called a lab pack also. It's just a one yard box. It's a different container. So, um, Please remember to not dispose of these kind of products in your garbage. Bring them out to the Household Hazardous Waste Facility. Have a great winter.